Hey, I'm Nick Hawks with the Medeo Scientific Console. Today, we are gonna talk a little bit about decoders and measurements in ChirpStack and how to work with both of them. So what I've got in my ChirpStack here is I added a device, the AM319. That is a mile site device. It is part of the AM300 series. Uh, they're all a little bit different. The 319 is the one that you plug in and you can get all the documents um, on Milesite's website. So I got a bunch of them here. I'll talk about how to use them in a bit. So what we want is we're gonna go down to applications. I've got this thing up and running right now. Here is the application here. Here's a dev UI. We're gonna jump into it. This is what you normally see when you look at any device. Uh, the cool thing here is we go to device metrics. I just started this up and we see a couple different things. CO2, humidity, lux, which is light, ozone, PM, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the cool thing here is that you can see these things right on the ChirpStack console. You don't have to go to an integration. This is not for long-term use, but this is fantastic for testing. So how do you get it so that device metrics show? Because they don't show on every single device automatically. Well, you go into device profiles and we're gonna go into the AM319, which we've got. This is a device profile template you can select. And we've got two things to do. Number one, we're gonna go into the codec. Now we're gonna take a little bit of a detour here into how to get a working codec. And you can do it uh, a couple ways. One, you can hire someone, you can know how to do it yourself. Two, you can hire someone who knows how to do it. Or three, which is what I did in this case, you can muddle through it with the help of ChatGPT. So Milesite provides a codec. I plugged that codec into here. Uh, it didn't work at first, so I had an error code. So what I did was I went over to ChatGPT. This is the $20 a month version. And you can see way up here at the very top, I said, hey, I've got a decoder for Lorient device. It's not returning the correct object values. Here's the decoder. Here's the next uplink. Now, the way that I use ChatGPT is I just pretend that I'm an idiot and I give it as much information as I think it needs. And then I speak to it uh, like I would speak to a regular, a normal human. So, hey, can you rewrite the decoder so it provides the correct uplink, right? I try not to treat chat, chat, chat GPT horribly. And so we go back and forth. So there's like, thank you for sharing that data. It needs more context. I try to do some Python stuff that didn't work. Uh, I just kept on going and kept on going and kept on going, gave it what it asked for. We'd go back and forth. It would say, hey, I need this. You don't have that. Um, sometimes a lot of what it puts out is nonsense, but we get all the way down to the bottom and this is the decoder that it gave me. Um, we'd gone through a couple of them. I'd have to go through the docs and say, hey, channel 01 in this case doesn't exist. So I'd gone back to the docs and I'd actually looked up um, what didn't or didn't exist. And you do have to read the docs. In this case, it says that AM307 is the only one that reports battery level, which makes sense when you think about it. This thing is plugged in with wire. It doesn't have a battery, but easy thing to miss. So I put that in the chat GPT and then just went through each of them. Channel 03 type 67 is like, I didn't make any of that stuff up. I just went into the docs and I said, oh, channel 03 type 67 is temperature. The units are degrees Celsius and the resolution is 0.1 degrees Celsius. So that's what I did. ChatGPT spits out this codec, which I went back and forth a bunch of times testing. Once you have the codec, um, you can then start to go over and get measurements, but the measurements aren't in there automatically. So what you'll need to do if you want to get the measurements and make them look fancy is go back into applications. You'll need to wait for your device to fire. So I'm going into the device here. I'm going into events and I'm looking for all of these different um, uplinks. I'll open up an uplink and on the right side, you can see down here, what I'm looking for is this thing that says object. And you can see this object here, all of these different things tell me what I'm looking for. So O3 is ozone, CO2, carbon dioxide, humidity, PIR status, vacant or empty. Right now it thinks it's vacant because my uh, chair is facing, I'm not moving around that much. Um, pressure, TFC, like all that stuff. So what I did is I just took a snapshot of that um, so that I would know what each thing is called, like, Ozone is called O3, uh, PM10 is PM10. There's an undefined thing in here. And so you end up going back and forth a bit, but going to device profiles, we go back to AM319, we go to measurements. You can see I've already done all of this stuff. Uh, pretty straightforward here. So you put in what the thing is, what, what you're seeing in the uplink, so CO2. You put in what type of um, measurement you're taking. In almost every case, it's a gauge. ChirpStack defines all of these up here. It's pretty straightforward. The only thing that sometimes is tricky is that uh, a yes or no, true, false is a string value. You can see that right down here with PIR status. Um, and that's it. And we could actually change this to be occupied. 
occupancy status and that will show up in our measurements. But I just plug those in um, and that's it. And then you hit submit and you wait for the next uplink to come through. You go back to your application, you go into the application itself and you look at what you saw. Look at what you can see. We go from link metrics over to device metrics. And right now it's looking okay. Looks like there's no PM 2.5s coming in and that might flummox you, but this is a really cool way to make sure that you understand the testing is number one, maybe it's just not there yet and I'm moving too fast. But number two, in the docs, it says, I wanna say down here, yep, right in the middle here, this red note, this only uploads when one of the concentrations exceeds the bad threshold. So the downside is recording this video in my room, making sure the windows are closed so you don't hear the moan blow crew, is that uh, looks like ozone and PM10 and P, uh, might be a little bit high, a little bit high TVOC. Um, but the upside is that if you don't see anything, PM2.5, you are good to go. So that's how to do the measurement side to get this device metrics and also how to do a decoder if you don't have any help. Now I will, uh, I'll, let's see, I'll reinforce that ChatGPT is not particularly, uh, it's not ultra fast. It's not like you can see how much stuff I had to go through. It's not like I asked it at the top for a specific thing and it's you know spit out immediately the very first thing. You do have to go back and forth with it a bunch of times until you get what you want. And especially if your device is not uplinking that frequently, it can be a pain in the butt. So what you might wanna do uh, when you first get your device and you want this thing to be running is you might wanna go in and set the uplink interval on the device, not here in ChirpStack, but on the device so that it's just firing up more uplinks so it's a little bit easier to debug. So that's what's going on here. Um, I thought that was super cool and I'm really psyched to be able to put this uh, AM319, the Milesight AM319, onto the um, device templates across the ChirpStack uh, Medio Scientific account. So that's it. Make sure you like and subscribe. I think I forgot to say that in the, um, in the intro. Hit the like and subscribe button. That really helps me grow the channel. It also helps you understand uh, when these things come out and get notified right away so that you see what's going down. If you have any questions, any videos you'd like to see, please drop them in the comments. I'm having a lot of fun kind of figuring this stuff out for you and sharing all of that with you as I go along. Okay, rock and roll. Have a good day.